I grew up loving Moby Dick. I read it in high school. I was one of my the few classmates who enjoyed it. And it was, it's always been my favorite book. And then almost 30 years ago, I moved to Nantucket with my wife and two children. And this was the hollowed ground of Moby Dick. And I began to realize that it was based on an actual story, the sinking of the whale ship Essex. And so I began to research the history of the island, uh, the story of the Essex, and eventually came to write In the Heart of the Sea. And for me, it's really been kind of a lifelong uh, journey. There are two basic accounts of the Essex that we have, one from Owen Chase, the first mate, and then one written many years later by the cabin boy, Thomas Nickerson, as an old man. And, and that's, those were the, the basic uh, texts I had to work on. But I spent a lot of research examining questions I had about the narrative. You know, what was the whale thinking? Yeah, uh, what is the, questions of science of whales? questions of dehydration, starvation, cannibalism, all of these things. And so I spent three years uh, researching uh, every facet I could think of the story and put it together and, and created the narrative that it's in the heart of the sea. But whaling was extraordinarily dangerous. You know, we think we have a hard time balancing work and family. Uh, these men were gone for three years at a time, home for three months, and out they went again with a likelihood of never coming back. And so this was very tough life. And uh, the whalemen, when they were back home, when they were strutting up Main Street, these were fighter pilots with the right stuff. If you were 14-year-old Thomas Nickerson, this is what you wanted to be. And yet there was kind of a sadness about it because uh, most of the men were gone. The women were running the island very effectively, but it was a people divided uh, with whaling as, as the, the great passion of the entire island. Well, after spending so many years working on the book, and then to finally see it come to life, and with someone like Ron Howard, one of the great directors uh, anyone could ever have uh, make a movie of, of your book, it's just been an extraordinary experience. And, and to see it uh, as a movie, uh, where it will get, the story will get an entirely new audience, has just been an enthralling experience for me. Uh, Chris Hemsworth, by uh, putting down his hammer and picking up his harpoon, has, has really found the role of a lifetime. Because, you know, Owen Chase in real life was a very hard-driving whaleman, and uh, uh, Chris Hemsworth embodies him perfectly. Well, when I was watching the movie for the first time, there is the knockdown scene in which the whale ship gets knocked on her beam ends, almost capsizes. And for me, uh, have, having researched this book, and also as a competitive sailor who's been at sea and experienced similar uh, difficulties, this was where uh, I just could not believe it. I have never had a, a movie experience in which the sea is so terrifying, so vividly brought to life.